first of all, I don't know who you are and who died and made you and your clan like you're the most handsome guys and women on the planet. You guys are zooming around a older 56-year-old woman that you want to social media to call fat and ugly. But you, why would someone waste their film on someone fat and ugly? Don't California got beautiful young women for you to videotape? Are you a bunch of perverts and creep that sit up here and film older women? Oh my God, that is some nasty ass shit. And it's almost like cock blocking. Like they watch me thoroughly and they watch to see what kind of black guy I'm dating because the white women want the black men and some of the sissified white guys want a black man. And they hate, and they've been hating on me. I mean, tremendously hating. They don't want to see no black man with me kissing my black lips and rubbing all over my big black booty. They don't want to see it. It's something about them seeing a black man loving a black woman. It's something about them seeing. It's something about a black man embracing his black woman or his black wife. So they, you know, they said some stuff to my black husband, but he got a weak ass mind. So he's like a Sambo anyway. He believed what they said instead of coming and talking to me and being a man and talk to me about the situation. He talked to them. So it's like, that's why I'm king on this divorce, because how can a husband sit up there and not talk to you about something so vital? He'll talk to them or talk to other people about me, but won't talk with me about the issue. I was never in a marriage. I was just married on on paper at the end of the day. And and then cock blocked me, called me, want to talk about all kind of this, da, da, da. And at the end of the day, you don't look so hot. Even he don't look so hot. He looks older. I was younger than him. And he, you could tell that age have caught up on him. Swollen eyes, the puffy eyes up under his eyes. And and the wrinkle have, have formed on his face. And he look older because he's always frowning. You know what I'm saying? Look like he looks like a grouchy, old, evil man now. He doesn't even look like the man that I marry. And then you don't come to me? You, you're a husband? And you don't talk to your wife about stuff? You still owe me an explanation as to where were you for over 20 some damn years. You still owe that. Now, at the end of the day, for the other guys, Rico, I-V-E-Y-O, Film Production, dude, I didn't sleep with you. At the end of the day, you had a baby by my daughter, and she made a big-ass mistake. She made the worst mistake of her fucking life. The only thing that came good out of it was my grandson. You're a rebound person, and why don't you rebound your ass away from me and my family? You're, you're, you already denied the baby. So what else do you have over here? You and your family. They talk shit about everybody else's family and make fun of everybody else's family except they stupid ass family. They family go around pointing fingers. They family go around following, stalking people. If the girl have a baby, they try to intimidate, try to bully the girl and their family. What kind of people are you? Scammers, you ain't got no room to talk. Tired of people like you going around, you probably using me in order for, for your bankruptcy to clear. Until your bankruptcy clear, trying to use me for your social media money. You and that white boy and your cousin. You ain't got no room to talk about nobody. I'm tired of you. I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm way older than you. And then you should be at least about 40-some years old. They've been doing this shit ever since this cat is like 28 years old. And this and still up here doing videos and laughing and making fun of people. 
You need to grow up, get some skit, do like country rain and turn your damn, instead of talking about people, making fun of people, why don't you learn how to do good skits and, and see if that'll make the bank, make up for the bank rusty money that you lost at the end of the day. I'm tired of your, you and your crew, your family that's in California bothering me. They act like the, they act like some gangster with one woman with heart problem. But go over there where the real gangsters at. Watch and see how, how, how they act, they act like they got sense in their head around the right people. I'm tired of you talking about my weight. You, you never have to get in the bed. And you'll never have to wake up. I'm tired of you drowning me out. They want to be heard. Narcissists love to be heard, but they don't like to hear or see things from the people that they're hurting or that they're in, in, intruding upon other people's uh, life. But they want to be heard. Oh, all throughout the internet, all throughout social media, we have been hearing you. We have heard you. Every fucking morning, you talk about the same goddamn thing about me and my weight. Like y'all obsess about my body. My body don't belong to you. And you shouldn't give a damn about a woman that you will never have to bang. And you will never have to wake up in the morning. So why are you overly doing it? Why are you overly caring about what the fuck I look like? Watch them. They going to drown it out. Hey, look, he laugh at everything in life. He don't never take nothing serious. Watch how they play it out. Watch how they drown it out. Because they don't like nobody telling them the goddamn truth. They don't like nobody speaking the truth. So they got to drown it out, them, and they dizzy-ass, easy-to-brainwash women. 